If organization in your small RV is driving you buggy, my friend Holly and I are here to help you out. We have 10 storage solutions to share with you. Hi, and welcome to Honey and Me. I'm Susan, and this is Honey, my little RV. In this video, Holly is going to be sharing her top five tips, and I'm going to be sharing my five ideas over on her channel, Fern the Camper. There's a link in the description below that will take you over there, or you can click up here. We have tips for using in your RV kitchen, bathroom, clothing storage, and more. So, without further ado, here's Holly. Thanks for the introduction, Sue. Um, I'm Holly with Fern the Camper, and this is my HC1 tiny trailer. It is 13 foot long, and there are storage cubes below and a few overhead storage bins. Overall, it's highly efficient, but there is not much space. Um, with a family of three, we have had to learn to pack things in the most efficient way possible, which brings us to number six. When packing your clothes, roll your clothes, don't fold them. At first you might think that it would take up more space to roll them, but most backpackers know that when you roll your clothes, they're easier to grab, they're more contained, and you can actually fit more in your pack. It's the same thing for tiny trailer. If you roll your clothes, you are going to be able to get to them faster. You'll be able to recognize them without making a total mess when you reach under folded things. Your skirts, your shirts, your trousers, everything you have, roll it. You will appreciate the total space saving hack. Number seven. Pack dried fruit and dried jerky. Don't pack fresh. If you want to make as much space as possible for when you are traveling, be sure you use dried instead of fresh. You can always rehydrate them in a stew or a soup later, but also they make really good snacking and you will be not worried about <laughs> attracting as many wasps. You will have more space, you won't have to keep them cool, and they won't get squished in your cooler while you're traveling things around. They also don't need ice to keep them fresh. Number eight, know your space, and when you pack, clean everything out first then pack fresh. You don't want to just assume you can leave your stuff in your trailer and then just pack more as you go. The problem with this is you forget what you've already packed and you end up overpacking. Sometimes you assume you've packed something because it was their last trip and it's not. It's best to just clean everything out, all your bins, all your storage containers, know what's there, repack exactly what you need for this trip. It may seem like a lot of effort at first, but trust me, it will allow you to have a very smooth camping experience without missing things, without losing things, without realizing you've overpacked. Number nine, pre-plan and pre-portion all of your food. When we first started camping, we would throw everything in. It's like, okay, we will we'll just throw two boxes of cereal. Okay, um, let's throw in five portions of pancake mix. Oh, let's just grab a carton of eggs. And a lot of the time we had far too much of one thing and then not enough of another. We ended up using two cubes for dried food goods when we could have just used half a cube if we had known ahead of time what we were going to be eating and what we were going to be preparing. Again, you can make yourself a list. You can pre-plan exactly what you want to eat. This will save you so much time and pain and heartache later when you ask your family at a campsite, hey guys, what do you want to eat tonight? And then spend the next half hour discussing what it's going to be. You've lost so much time. Everyone gets hungry. Everyone gets grumpy. And then it just becomes unhappy. You do not want an unhappy campsite. Pre-plan your food. 
let everyone know what the itinerary is going to be. You say, hey, spaghetti on night one. It's going to be hot dogs on night two. You're going to have a beef jerky fest on night three. Maybe night four is going to be a tuna bake. Everything that you can pre-cook and then just heat it on the fire when you're there. Number 10. Limit your cooking equipment to the basics you will actually need. It's no good packing two casserole dishes and your hot dogs, forks, plus your s'mores forks, plus a backup s'mores forks, and then three pots and pans that you probably won't use. If you have planned your meals correctly, you will know exactly what you need. Get the basics in. You need a skillet, perhaps. You need a crock pot or an everything pot, something that can boil water, something that you can just throw all of your food in and stick on the fire. And if you need coffee pot or teapot, do that. Get your cutlery, get every basic that you need, but no more, no extras. And that brings us pretty much to the end. That is our top 10 space saving tips for tiny trailers. We hope you have had a wonderful time watching. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, keep camping, and we will see you next time. Thanks, Holly. Those were great tips. I know I'll be implementing them in Honey. For tips one to five, make sure you head on over to Holly's channel, Fern the Camper, and see what I have for you. Don't forget to subscribe to Holly's channel while you're there and give her video a thumbs up. And Honey and Me always appreciates your likes, comments, and when you choose to subscribe. You guys take care and we'll see you down the road.